Hello YouTubers, welcome to two awesome tutorials and today I'll be using Autodex CFD uh, to set up a wind tunnel. So first of all, uh, you need to make sure that you are in the home page of Autodex CFD and I think Autodex CFD is, is very user friendly. If you need to, if you want to get access to Autodex CFD and you're a student, it's, it's free for all of you so uh, you can use your, your your university's email address to have access to Autodex softwares. So after you have uh, you have your home page open, you need to make sure that you have uh, you have a model saved that you you want to simulate in CFD. Uh, so you're gonna go to launch and make sure you click on new, not open, because open is for your existing study uh, design studies. So we're gonna click on new and here we're gonna browse uh, to select our, our CAD file so I have mine saved as wing so I'm gonna click on it save I'm gonna name it wing test create so once it shows your CAD model uh, you have you have here scenario one which tells you the material you have selected the boundary conditions uh, the initial conditions mesh size and if you would like to add some motion or initial conditions you can do so uh, however the, the main things that are required in order to run the simulation is the material boundary conditions uh, make sure you mash your part uh, and then to solve it so we're gonna keep the tutorial simple and quick so you get an idea of how to how to go through and how to get the results uh, of the simulation so the firstly after I have my model open you can see this sort of wing is not is not the exact representation of actual wing of an aircraft but it's just used for, for, for an example. So down here you have your message window where you can see if you are if you're having uh, any error it's gonna show the error and on on the right side here is the convergence graph uh, convergence plot which will get after uh, you have solved the, the, the simulation. So first of all, we need to make sure that your uh, your CAD file is uh, is imported correctly. You need to look around, see if there's any missing bits, or if there's any if there's any problem with the CAD file, because it's 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 usual to have problems with your CAD file when you're importing it due to the uh, due to the uh, complexity of your of your CAD model. So here. I can see that my CAD model was simple and it's op it's open correctly. Now I'm gonna go on to on to assigning the material for my for my part. So I'm gonna click on this which is unassigned, and I have my part one which is the body of it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna right click on it and edit. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna go for here it says material edit if you if you'd like to put in your own values you can you can you can name your material and then add few properties that you might know however we're gonna keep this uh, keep this uh, with your simple tutorial simple so I'm just gonna select the, the existing material that they have I'm gonna go for solid and I'm gonna go for aluminium and I'm gonna apply it now here you can see that the, the material is applied and now I can move to the next step so if you have more than one body and you have multiple uh, materials so you need to ensure that you have added material to all of your parts once that's done we're gonna move to boundary conditions and the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, because I haven't added the uh, the outer or the uh, the outer where the outer flow for the air so we're gonna go and add external volume in order to have that have that sort of air flowing around the around the pot or around the wing so we're gonna click on setup uh, setup task and then we're gonna go to geometry tools because this is usually the first thing you would like to do. However, you can all you can also do it uh, 
before solving the part and I'm gonna do it right now so here we have few options we have edge edge merge we have small object we have void fill which is usually usually used uh, for for having your inner volume so if you have some sort of uh, pipe then you can you can use this feature to add uh, add volume inside of the pipe uh, in order to uh, simulate the the fluid in running inside the pipe in this case we are running fluid outside the pipe and our fluid is uh, air so we're gonna add external volume to it and now you can add offset to 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 your uh, to your vol uh, to your box that you've created or the external volume I'm gonna give it a little bit space for the air to flow around it uh, this is up to you however you want to do it but I think this size a little bit bigger than your your object would, would do so I'm gonna create it and here I've got another volume on top of it and it looks solid right now so we're gonna close it our volume is created and now we can see under material we have two uh, two, uh, two subheadings which says uh, two materials that are set for uh, set for each part and then you can see the first one here is is the is the wing that I have and I've already given the material to it and now the second one here is CFD created volume which I just created so for this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna make sure that it's water which is already done by default in my case however you wanna make sure that you have given it the right material apply so I've got water and then inside I've got the wing however if I wanna make the water transparent or if I wanna outline it just to have an idea of the, of the external w water so external airflow then I can have it as outlined and I can see my wing clearly now and now the, the material selection is done now what we want to do is go to boundary conditions and then we're going to edit it as well so you you have all the all the sides of the of the rectangle that you have added you can choose any side as for inlet and the other one for outlet so I'm going to select this this side for inlet and I'm going to right click on it okay select it and then uh, you have you have the type of inlet that you can choose from. You have pressure, you have mass flow rate, you have velocity. So in my case, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for air air velocity. I've made one mistake that it says water here, but I'm 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 dealing with air right now. So I'm gonna make sure that I've, I've corrected that before running the simulation. Okay, and now I'm gonna edit the, the inlet condition here I'm gonna put a velocity uh, meter per second and I'm gonna add the magnitude as uh, as let's say uh, 50 50 meter per second then apply it on the other hand we have the outlet so I'm gonna edit the outlet as well I'm gonna sh make sure uh, the, the the direction of the arrow is is not the the same way as as the as the other one it, it should be the same way as the other one so it makes the inlet and the outlet going outside so when the air is coming outside I'm gonna make sure the direction is facing uh, outer outer side and then uh, of course I can add magnitude to it if you wanna keep the velocity constant from inlet to outlet you can obviously do by typing in 50 here but in my case I'm gonna I'm gonna make it unknown so I can use this uh, simulation to find my find my values at the outlet I'm gonna apply it uh, and the next thing we have here is mesh size if you wanna add in initial conditions then you can do so however I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it in this case so I'm gonna add meshing uh, I'm gonna go with automatic it's it's e it's just easier and simpler to do so, and I mean it 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 gets you the job done here. So it's better to go with auto size. And the last thing is we're gonna go with click on solve iterations to run. You can do as many as iterations you want, but 
I just want it to be quicker for the sake of this tutorial so I'm gonna go with uh, somewhat around let's say 25 and you have you have a lot more options to to edit you have you have the the physics of the flow you can make it in incompressible or compressible you can add hydrostatic pressure heat transfer turbulence there's a lot of options you can play around with or if you are given uh, some conditions for your for your uh, uh, for your simulation then you can add it and now I'm gonna click on solve uh, so once it's completed you will be able to see analysis completed successfully and you can then go to your convergence plot to see uh, how the uh, how the how the plot looks like and in my case I have I have a black line here which represents pressure on your right side you can see uh, the how what the each line represents and then we have VX velocity which is uh, which is the velocity in X direction so everything looks pretty sa stable for now so in order to get your results you in order to for you to visualize your results you need to click on results you need to go to uh, results and then you have a few options here you have planes you have uh, traces and and couple of other options that you can use to visualize your results uh, first of all I'm gonna use traces so I'm gonna click on traces I'm gonna create set here and then add and then I'm gonna make sure I'm, go I'm, I'm adding the area that the air is flowing from the inlet so you're gonna click over here at the one corner bring it to the other corner and bring it all the way down it doesn't have to be perfect or it doesn't have to be uh, selecting the whole of the inlet you can you can either have it a little bit uh, smaller or, or bigger it's, it's, it's gonna track the traces from that from that red dot that you can see on the screen so here we can see the we can see how the traces are are, are going from inlet to the outlet so you, however we're not able to see our our pot if yeah our pot correctly so we want to make sure that we have our pot here as shaded yeah I can see lines here that are that are shaded and yeah we are able to see however due to due to many traces we're not actually able to see it correctly so I would rather have it done in in 2d manner in, in in this kind of case than having it all over the map so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix our traces we're gonna go to traces we're gonna reduce this the set we have created so I'm gonna get rid of it go to uh, go to traces and then untick it and it's gonna take away whatever you've done so I'm gonna create another set I'm gonna start it from the top bring it here a little bit towards right and this way I think I can understand way more than I could in the in the in that way so here as you can see uh, on we have we have different colors of traces and on top uh, top left we can see the the scaling of velocity magnitude as you can see when it when it's hitting the top of the the wing you can see the most velocity in this area and which is about uh, 6500 centimeter per second once that that's done you will you want to see uh, you want to see other things so you can hit global you can you can click on velocity magnitude here and you can go for pressure uh, uh, static pressure and now you can see how the color changes of my model and we can see on the front of the wing that it's having the maximum pressure which is about red and yellow and in the scaling here we can also read the, the exact number of that static pressure and there's a lot you can do from here you can also go to review you can click on the summary file and once you click on the summary file you'll be able to have the summary of, of your simulation and we can see inlet one we can also see the total mass the total mass flow in total volume flow in and then it says unknown one which is our outlet and you can also read the the mass flow for unknown at the outlet 
th there's a lot of options here that you can you can go through you have uh, the status file you also have setup file and there's there's an option to actually generate your report uh, in a in a Microsoft Word format so make sure that you have uh, your Microsoft Word installed before you click on this option and if it is you can click on it and it's going to generate uh, a report of of your whole model with 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 few pictures and um, and the results uh, in the word file so that's it for this video make sure if this video helped you make sure hit the hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye bye